Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my wardrobe which you might have seen us complete in last Sunday's video. That was the video on how we created this room and how we built it and hacked it from various different pieces of furniture and materials and stuff. And today I know is the long awaited video because I've been teasing you with this for some time on how I'm going to finally unpack all of my moving boxes of my clothes and accessories and all that kind of stuff and I'm going to move myself in to my wardrobe. So today's video is mainly going to focus on like how I organise it in here and what things are going to go where and less so much on the actual items that are moving into the wardrobe but if anyone's got any questions on anything that you see in the video do leave those down in the comment section below and also if you have any requests for videos that you would like to see like favourite bags or favourite coats, anything like that, again, leave those down in the comment section below. So first things first, when I was designing this room, if we take into account the back wall first, this middle section here, which you would have seen in the video where we actually made the wardrobe room, this section here is the largest section. So it's 100 centimetres wide and it's also the tallest section. And I deliberately wanted to use this middle height section of the room as a hanging area because I know that I've got a lot of coats. I'm sure most of you regulars will also know I have a rather extensive coat collection. So this is specifically where I had coats in mind for. And then when I do my wardrobe switch over, which I am still going to do because for me personally, I just cannot see any logic in having spring summer clothes out as well as autumn winter because they're never going to get worn and it's just confusing. And I just, yeah, I just can't get my head around that idea and that concept. So I'll still do my wardrobe switch over. And then when we come to do spring summer, the area in here will then change to long items like dresses, jumpsuits. I don't have many of those, but I'll then just use the rest of this rail for any other hanging stuff. Because obviously I only have a couple, I have three hanging areas in total. So I'll just use that for anything else that I want to hang. So this is the area that I'm going to start off with. I have actually ordered new hangers, but they haven't arrived yet. So for now, I'm just going to use my hangers that I already have start popping things in and then when the hangers hopefully arrive by the end of this week, fingers crossed, then I'll just switch over all the hangers. So this is how we're looking so far. For a minute I've just closed the blind, so for anyone wondering if I was worried about anything fading in here because of the skylight, no I'm not because I have a blind. However, as you can see, it is not particularly the aesthetic of the room, so I am going to be changing that blind for um, a slightly more neutral toned one. But for now, it's doing the job just while I film because it was creating a bit of a light issue. So yes, I've done all three hanging areas. So as I mentioned at the start of the video, this central area, which is the tallest and longest section, that was always designed and I had in mind for my coats. So that's where they've all sat nicely. To the side here on the left, this is for blazers and shorter coats or jackets, if you will. And then over in the corner, this area was a very last minute decision actually when we were in the middle of building this. And this was designed for trousers, but not for jeans. Jeans I'm gonna be popping, hopefully, in one of the drawers. So that's all three of the hanging sections complete. I do have some really long knitwear, like dresses and super long cardigans, which I may potentially hang in this section here, but for now I've just left them on rails in the other room and I'm kind of going to move on to some other bits now. So I think what I'm going to do next is bags just to get those out of the way and I know that they're going to go in there because they're nice and protected with the doors 
And then I think I'll probably move on to knitwear, which is my biggest worry that I'm not gonna have enough room. <laughs> decided to move on to do some drawers next. A, because I keep putting off attempting to do knitwear because it's all stored in the room next door and I just keep looking at the tubs and thinking I don't know if I can combat that yet. So I also want to see how much drawer space I have left after doing essential things like underwear and that kind of stuff. So what I wanted to do essentially was just show you guys like a couple of little organisational products which are really affordable, just really useful for if you're looking to get a bit more organised in your drawer space. Um, so the first thing, and these are not new, I'm sure lots of you have seen these before, you can buy them on places like Amazon and all those kind of sites that sell stuff like this. This is a retractable spring activated drawer divider. Uh, this one's made of bamboo, but you can get plastic ones. I think you can get metal ones. You can use them in kitchen drawers as well if you wanted to sort out your utensils. But I am using them in my underwear drawers. You can also get, and essentially all you do is you just slide them in like so. They're spring activated, so the measurements are on the website wherever you buy them for to tell you how big a drawer they fit in and then you just slot it in and you can move them up and down, you can put them wherever you want so that you can create specific compartments. Now the other thing that I have are these, these are just from Ikea, these are called Scub I think, which is a really unattractive name and word, and they are just little, um, they're collapsible actually, if I just show you they zip at the bottom so they come flat packed as with everything in Ikea, and then you just sort of zip them together like that, and these ones are designed specifically for malms, which is what I have here. I have two four drawer malms, which we've stuck together and put the MDF top on. So those are really good for just separating, again, things like underwear, socks, bras, that kind of stuff. People have come to help. They're not doing a very good job. Are you Bee? No. No, more just sort of as soon as I sit on the floor they want to sit on my lap. Anyway, the good news is that so far I have filled all of the drawers and I've managed to do my knitwear which was the scariest thing. So in these two top drawers that is underwear and swimwear. Not that I have a great deal of swimwear. Then as you would have seen, I've got a pyjama drawer there. 
and then start moving down into knitwear. So I've broken these up into categories which I kind of understand. So everything in this drawer is kind of like the basic knitwear. So it's like all of my Marks and Spencer autograph cashmere, which is basic crew necks. Then these are the things which I layer underneath, which are like a really basic uh, roll neck. They're not so much knitwear, even though they are wool, but they're like a wool and silk blend. Um, and then some more basics there. Going down into the next set of drawers on this side, I have jeans, which again, you'll notice everything's been folded vertically and stacked just because this optimizes space much better than folding horizontally. In this one, this is slightly chunkier knitwear. And then in the bottom, really chunky knitwear. I can only fit four jumpers in that one. And then in this one here, this is kind of everything that was left. So jumpers with like zips on, this was another chunky jumper which I couldn't fit in the other side and then these are my cashmere hoodies. So again, things with zips and toggles and that kind of thing. So knitwear so far was successful. And now the good news is that my new hangers have arrived so I can start to switch all of these over. The not so good news is that I've just discovered that I've got two more tubs which have got coats in. Um, which I had kind of thought, my god, my coats look a bit sort of thin on the ground. I thought I had more than these because I haven't seen my coats in so long, I'd kind of forgotten. Yeah, I found some more. So as I'm changing the hangers of these, I'm going to get those tubs and start to add the hangers on those. I've also got new hangers for the trousers as well. So this is just going to be a big hanger changeover and then getting out the rest of my coats and also adding in some of the longer knitwear which I said was going to go in this section here. Okay, next update. So I have had a little switch around. As I started getting out my coats, I realized I actually didn't have that many more coats. I think I had maybe two. I actually had more of the short coat or jacket scenario, category rather. So I decided because this rail here, which is where they originally were, this is only a 50, whereas that one over there, is well it's not in one of the units as you can see it's just something we did a makeshift on at the end but I think it's like 80 centimeters that one so it's much longer and although I had enough space on this rail over here I just felt like they needed a little bit more finger space and room to breathe so that's why I've switched those over to over there I would rather have had trousers there but there is still plenty of room underneath they're not touching the floor and then the trousers have now gone neatly in there because I don't really have, I mean, I say this, I don't have that many trousers. That's probably quite a lot of trousers for some people, but for me, that's not that many pairs of trousers. And then one more thing is, after hanging up the knitwear and the big heavy cashmere dress that's now all in here, after hanging them on the rail, I just looked at them and I thought, oh, do you know what? The whole point of me having this room was so that I'm not hanging my knitwear. So I decided to use this big drawer at the bottom to pop all the long cardigans and heavy dress sort of knitwear stuff. So that's all gone in there. So I now have this entire tower free, which I'm still missing the three small drawers, which are due to go in there. However, they're out of stock at the moment. So as soon as they come in, we'll have to order those or go and pick them up from Ikea. Then I'll have to paint them, then they'll go in. But those are gonna house, one is gonna be hats, one is gonna be scarves, and one is gonna be gloves and other wintry accessories. I haven't really got that many pairs of gloves, so I might actually just put thermals in there. And then in here, these are the pull-out trays. These are gonna be accessories, so stuff like sunglasses. So that I can do, and I can also put stuff in these shelves. And then I've got these two drawers free down here. 
So they're quite deep, but just not very wide. They're 50 wide, those ones. And I could even, now that I've put trousers here, I could have some sort of storage box if I needed to, so that it looks nice and neat put in there or I could always move this shelf up and add in another drawer but for now I'm just going to leave that as is and then over here this area originally I was actually going to have knitwear on but I was talking to Simon because we always knew I wasn't going to fit all of my shoes in here and I did say what I might do with this area depending on if I fit all of my knitwear in the drawers is I might put a selection of my most worn shoes up in here so that I have them in this room and then slightly dressier shoes and shoes that I wouldn't necessarily wear on an everyday basis they can go in the cupboard which is just outside this room which we are going to fashion into a shoe cupboard so we'll do that in a separate video because we've got no idea what we're even going to do in there yet so now I can get cracking with my accessories and with shoes Okay, so favorite or most worn shoes are in. I've decided to use that little space below the trousers to pop my slippers, which obviously at the moment are frequently worn. And then over here, did some accessories. These are my two jewelry boxes. And then we've got one tray of sunglasses another tray of sunglasses that's the ray-ban tray if you hadn't already guessed and then this tray was a bit random it's got my umbrella my furry sheepskin insoles and some iphone cases which i'm obviously currently not using on my phone those are my spares so those have all gone in there i am gonna have to call it a day now because it's getting dark outside and although I do have lights and I could carry on um, it would be quite difficult for me to film but tomorrow I need to finish off doing accessories I don't really have many left I just need to fold hats and scarves and gloves into piles and probably just place them in there for now until the drawers come back in stock I've also got all my wardrobe care kit which is all in here um, so I've got like limp brushes, uh, cashmere combs, all that kind of stuff. And then up here I've got a um, debobbler and some cleaning spray. I've got another tub full of cleaning sprays and protector sprays and all that kind of stuff as well. However, this tub is not very visually pleasing. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna have an internet session now and see if I can find a nicer tub because that could then go in there. My other alternative theory was that it could go in one of the drawers but I just feel like I'm potentially going to need the drawers for something else or maybe would rather use them for something else, we'll see. So yes, that's me for day one. I feel like I've got quite a lot done. I've got the majority done. Tomorrow is going to be finishing off and then adding what I like to call the fluff, the decorative items. Well, here we are again. <laughs> I'm back in here this morning and I need to sort out scarves, hats, gloves, this general pile here into something somewhat more organised. Um, so I'm going to separate it into categories and then see sort of how much I have of each category and then hope that they will eventually fit into the three drawers that I am hopefully going to have there when they come back in stock. Otherwise I might kind of have a look and see if potentially some of them might fit in here because these drawers are much deeper. This is a deeper unit, this one. It's a 58 deep, whereas that one is only a 35. So they're gonna be quite small drawers. Um, so that's my task for this morning. Something else I actually forgot to show you guys yesterday, because I know this is probably going to be a question, considering that the wardrobe is open, but moths and pests. Now, since we moved in, I have not spotted a single moth. So that's great. However, 
uh, there's time. There's always time for moths to arrive. And so I bought a box of these cedar wood. Now, normally we have cedar wood balls, but Simon took all of the little bags of cedar wood balls and all the balls on strings for his wardrobe. So these are cedar wood discs, which basically, I don't know if I can do this one handed. I'm going to tr try, but you just thread it ugh, on top of your hanger like that so that it doesn't touch your clothes because cedar wood and the oil from cedar wood can sometimes stain clothes and you just pop them on your hangers like that so that it protects against moths. I have no idea how effective they are but yeah it's an idea. So actually what I decided to do, as you would have seen, is put scarves in this top drawer and hats and gloves in this bottom drawer just because those are things that I'm going to need and obviously I've got no idea how long it's going to take for IKEA to restock these small shelves, so uh, small drawers, sorry, so I'll probably when they do come in and I've painted them and installed them then I might have a small rejig. The other room next door is actually full of all my tubs and boxes so what we're gonna have to do next is venture into the deepest darkest depths of the eave storage and put away all of my summer tubs there's already some stuff in here actually I think this is some camera equipment but to put away all of my summer tubs and empty shoe boxes and all that kind of stuff so I'm gonna recruit a helper for that done kind of with the exception of the drawers going in there but I'm really happy with how this turned out I think it's a really nice clean space I managed to fit everything in I have actually ordered a more aesthetically pleasing box for all of my like wardrobe -y, like care kit and stuff but that hasn't arrived yet so once that arrives I can switch that over but otherwise, yeah, I think it's a functional space. I think it's nice and bright and airy. Most importantly, everything fits. And I am very, very happy. So as usual, guys, thank you so much for watching and for sticking with me through this process. And we'll see you in the next video. Try to breathe.